Our second stop on our Florida winter trip was at Holder Mine Campground, which is a Florida State Forest Campground. It is a very rustic type of camping and we were pleasantly surprised. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Turn right on East Trail 10. This campground is located within the Holder Mine Recreation Area in the citrus tract of the Withlacoochee State Forest, less than 15 minutes south of Inverness, Florida. The campsites are shaded by live and turkey oak trees and have the following facilities. Campsites with electric and potable water, bathhouse with restroom and showers, dump station and pavilion. Recreation activities featured here are two hiking trails, picnicking, hunting within the wildlife management area during archery and small game seasons. The Withlacoochee River, Little Withlacoochee River, and Jumper Creek have all been designated as outstanding Florida waters, and each meanders through this forest, which spans across five counties and exceeds 165,000 acres. Withlacoochee is a Native American word meaning crooked river. This accurately describes the Withlacoochee River as it makes its 70 mile journey from the Green Swamp in northern Polk County to the Gulf of Mexico at Yankee Town. The natural features of this campground create an excellent habitat for bald eagles, fox squirrels, gopher tortoise, white tailed deer, and turkeys. In 1999, the Withlacoochee State Forest was ranked number one on the World Wildlife Fund's 10 coolest places you've never seen in North America. That's a campground. So we pull in here, I gather, huh? I guess it says entrance. Then I gotta get out and put the code in. You can make your reservations online at Florida State Forest slash reserveamerica.com. Find the campground that you want, and then you can scroll down, put your dates in, and you can see where the sites are, which ones are available. You can click on the actual sites themselves. Or if you scroll down, you can see information in regards to the amenities for that particular campsite. And you can choose the site that you'd like. Once you've done your reservation, you'll receive an email which will provide you with your payment, information you need to know before you go, directions to get there, and they will also provide you with a code in order to get into the gate once you get there. Of course, it includes your policies and any alerts that are going on at the time. Cancellation of policy is also included. We paid $15.95 per night, and we had 50 amp in water. Check-in time is at 3 p.m. and check-out time is at 1 p.m. This campground has 27 water and electric sites with 30 and 50 amp hookup. There is one bathhouse and a dump station. Each site has a picnic table and a fire ring with grate and or a grill. Two vehicles and or trailers are permitted per site. Overflow of parking is available within the campground. Nearby attractions include Central Florida's major theme parks, which is located about one to two hour drive time, Rock Crusher Canyon, which has outdoor concerts and events, Treetop Adventure Zip Lines, which is within one to two hour drive time, and wineries in multiple cities around the area. Many county, state, national parks, preserves, and refuges are located nearby. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. are standing in the road in front of our RV. That's a shower house down there past that white SUV. Got tent camping and RVs. It's 
only, I think, 26 sites here. And I was able to get the biggest site here, which has overflow parking across from us. And this is extra parking over here as well. So lots of room. And here's our area that we get to play in. We have like this huge area where nobody camps because everybody is up front there. And coming back the other way. Beautiful, big site. 50 amp water, concrete pad, and a dump station. And it's 80 degrees. One of our favorite restaurants is the Freezer Tiki Bar in Homosassa, Florida, which is about 40 minutes away from the campground. And they have the best shrimp there. So we're on our way to the Freezer Tiki Bar. We went by way of the Google GPS and look what it's putting us through. Wasn't quite expecting to go down trails. You didn't think Zippy could do this, huh? I'm just glad there's nobody else coming our way. You know, 60 miles an hour in an ATV. There's all kinds of trails out here. It's really pretty, but... Uh, Take the next left onto Trail 17. Not quite expecting all these uh, trails. No, no, no. Well, this will teach you, take you into that highway I was telling you about. Okay. I'm going to hope. You better hope. <laughs> oh, looky there. Is that... Continue on Trail 17 for half a mile. Almost concrete. But it is pretty. Almost concrete. We did finally make it to the freezer tiki bar, and we enjoyed our shrimp and also their clam chowder that they have in a bread bowl. Nice little location here with a view of the water. This is the road coming in just past where we are parked. And it's a rough road. Yeah. Want to go to the shower house? It's going to be rough with the blue boy. Holy moly. Damn rough. The campground host is down this side road all by themselves. Where are you supposed to park? Over here. Oh. Okay. We'll go check it out. Okay. Clean. See, they got some firewood here. Campfire safety. Firewood donations. Payable to friends of Florida State Forest. All proceeds come back to support recreation in the Withlacoochee State Forest. Yeah, so you just grab some wood and throw some money in there. Yeah. Alright. So we'll continue on around the campground. It's just a big loop. few tents on that one, huh? You can only have two tents, so the sign said. Now that looks like there's two sites side by side. Okay, are you watching for the trees here for Leroy? Yeah. There's 14, 16, 
15. It's pretty in here. Mm -hmm. That's why I like it. I like it to feel like a campground. Don't you? Yeah. More so than a parking lot. Yeah. There's 23. See, this is the road I went on last night, and everybody was lined up right here. Oh, we're getting ready to leave out there. Is that the gate out? Exit. Uh, to the left. Almost a stop here to open gate. And the trash house is right by the exit. So, yeah, this must be the way out. Whoop, oh. That's why you gotta stay back there. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then let's go check out the duck station. So they got all these uh, ATV trails back in here. Yeah. Tons of them. That looks like boondock. It does. So, yeah, it does look like a boondock in here. Let's see what the sign says here. Quail Run, Tension Hunters. Oh, well, they got sight numbers. Yeah, they got sight numbers. Huh. Probably without electricity is what it is. Yeah. No water, no electricity. You're, you're basically boondocking. Well, a lot of Jeeps were lined up and oh, yeah. uh, out here going for a ride out there. Mm -hmm. I guess there's, uh, well, the river's not too far from here. Crystal River, I guess it is. Yeah. And you can uh, rent pontoon boats, too. And if there's where that car is right now is about where the dump station is. So it's prior to you coming in. Yeah, the Sandy Hassle what? getting out of here. And there's Turkey Trot. They get multiple roads that you can camp down. Yeah, and a big sand and ride. Pile. Yeah. This might not be bad to, to dump. No, I could probably pull in there and dump. See, here's another one. Here is. Buckhorn. Check it out. Yeah, they got power. You want to go down there and check it out? Oh, in, in an outhouse. <laughs> no, they don't have power. It's just nothing. Huh. What if you must have to re reserve them because they've got numbers. They're boondocking. What's the belly of Zippy? Yeah. You know, just turn around here or go up a little further. Looks like you can go through here, Dave. You want to go through? We got a trash house, outhouses. And that's one of the other roads. So they interlink somehow. Go up a little bit more. Sure. Okay. Uh, this might be a little tight for Leroy in the RV here. Nah, you nah. there. Yeah, okay. That one branch might be a problem. You know what? <laughs> what was thinking? Number 59, nobody there. You want to just turn around here? Yeah. But that gives you the idea. Yeah, it's a boondock. Mm hmm. Now, I think you can only stay in, the, in this area, though. For 14, 14 days. days in a row. What <laughs> cheap camping. Yeah. I'd have to go online just to verify it's free. Yeah. See, that's site 57. He's a, There's water. Oh, they got potable water. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And they got the outhouse there. So where that guy's at over there is a good spot because he can walk to the porta potties. Yeah. Look at the ants. The uh, ant condos. <laughs> that might be a problem. Yeah. This is 55. So this is across the street from the entrance into the park that we're staying in. 
Well, there you go. Wash your clothes out here. They got the water. That's 51 right there. Now we know where to go when we're dead broke. Yeah. Um, do you think you're good for a Leroy cut going through there? Yeah. I need to pull that in and right yeah. back out. Okay. Okay. So, that tells you you got to go to Florida State forest.reserveamerica.com to get in. Right there. 80? Eight, eight zero. Eight zero. So they will send you your code via your reservation on uh, email so that you can get in when you get here because there is no guard shack or whatever you want to call it. But I went online to verify the code number, and they gave me a code number that's good in a few days, but not the one that would get us in when we got here, so it's a good thing I double-checked, because it will change every week. And here we are. And that's it. We are back. Tiny campground. Yeah. Works good for us. Yeah. Off we go. Gray water. Zippy's our little mule. This is different because that sticks up out of the ground, which makes it difficult to dump. Called a rocket scientist. Oh, Dave Felt brought this. some blocks with him. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, uh. Aren't you the smart one? Where's your gloves? In the back. <laughs> it's gray water, right? Yep. Well, the good thing with it being located here, those that have boondocked down these roads can also use it. But that sign says it's only good for those who have a paid reservation only. Hmm. Rinsing it out. So this is one of the roads for hunters and boondocking. Sites are all numbered with posts. This is one through 47. And it says, attention hunters, Florida State Forests have gone cashless. Holder Mine Hunt Camp is for overnight camping for hunters with a valid hunting license only. Payment and reservations can be made for Holder Mine Hunt Camp, floridastateforest.reserveamerica.com. And they have a QR code there as well. That's the same place that I reserved our site over here in the campground. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.